Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Gugoy of Krishna Kanta Handik State of University. Today I shall take up Unit 11 titled Remedial Grammar where we shall discuss the introductory IT. This is from the course titled Foundation Course in English, Semester 1, Block 2. So let us quickly begin. Starting with a table of contents where we shall discuss the learning objectives, a brief introduction followed by a little discussion on introductory IT distinction between there and it, questions to check your progress, and the references. Learning objectives. After going through this unit, the learner will be able to learn how sentences are modified by the use of it. Also, the learner will be able to differentiate between the use of there and it. To provide you with a brief introduction, follow these two sentences. For example, to ride a bike without a helmet is illegal and it is illegal to ride a bike without a helmet. Now both these sentences are grammatically correct. However, the first sentence is rather unusual and instead we normally use it as a formal subject of a sentence. That is the second sentence in order to make the information appear or sound more natural. So we usually say it is illegal to ride a bike without a helmet. We emphasize on the illegality that is. A long clause comes more naturally at the end of a sentence then in the subject position of a sentence. We use introductory it to begin such sentences. Introductory it. Uses of introductory it. Number one, we can use it as the formal subject of a sentence to place long or grammatically complex sentences at the end. For example, to find good rented accommodation in the city is very difficult these days. The same could be rephrased thus. It is very difficult to find good rented accommodation in the city these days. So we are using it as the formal subject of a sentence in order to place the grammatically long and complex sentences at the end. All right. Number two, we use it to mention the time, day, month, date, etc. For example, it's half past nine now or it's nearly ten o'clock. Number three, we use introductory it as formal subject with verbs concerning weather conditions. For example, it rained all day at Jorhat that day. It was pleasantly warm in Shillong. So you notice how it is being used. Number four, we use it as formal subject in the following patterns. As mentioned, I hope you will go through the same. These patterns describe someone's situation, behavior or express opinions about situations. Now coming to the difference between there and it, we have noted that there plus be expresses the fact that something exists. It identifies or describes something or says something about the object. Number five, it can function as a formal object also when it stands for a whole sentence as follows. For example, you have helped me in my difficulties. I shall never forget it. To give you another example, he wants to beat Ramesh in the test. He won't find it easy. So there is a difference between there and it. We have noted that there plus be expresses the fact that something exists. It identifies or describes something or says something about the object. There introduces a noun phrase with indefinite meaning. But it refers to something definite. For example, there is a man at the gate. It's the postman. There was a bridge on the river. It was washed away in the last floods. Now the sentence, there is a man at the gate and there was a bridge on the river refers to indefinite persons and things whereas sentences like it's the postman or it was washed away in the last floods refers to definite persons and things. So you see the difference now? This brings us to questions to check your progress. Question number one. When is introductory it used in sentences? Question number two. What is the difference between introductory there and it? Question number three. Complete the dialogue by filling in the blanks with there or it as mentioned in front of you. I hope you'd go through the questions as well. Hope you'll also try to solve the given questions on your own. This brings us to the references. I hope you'll go through BA English Graduate Self-Learning Material, that is the SLM, or Foundation Course in English, Block 2, Unit 11, Semester 1. Thank you, dear learners.